it is your boy, Vince A.K. Vinny. Opening day just started. This is my old glove. I just used this for messing around the house. But it symbolizes baseball is here. Let's go. I got my anti-state stuff on. We're going, we're going to the Super Regional. At least. Easily. Super Regional. This team is good. But I'm going to be talking MLB today. And the Mariners might actually have a shot at the playoffs. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in just a sec. Prediction for the World Series winner, like I did in early June a couple years ago, and I predicted the Astros and the Dodgers. So that was 2017. So that that's some crispy stuff right here. Now this is early, early April, late March. So, obviously, my predictions will probably be very off. Um, I won't say the Red Sox because the Mariners, who haven't made the playoffs in over 15 years, just beat them pretty bad. Granted, it is the first game of the season for them. But I'm just going to tell you that the Mariners are going to make the playoffs this year, and here's why. The Astros are not going to do anything, okay? The Mariners are getting that postseason vibe already. People in... Seattle are very excited for baseball, which they haven't really been in a long time. So that's why I'm, I'm going to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. So that, that's one thing. And if the Astros don't do good, I think we can hang with the Athletics. The Athletics and the Mariners are about even. Maybe the Athletics are a little bit better. But if we don't win the division, I think we got a good shot at the wild card. Now, I could be completely off. We could go 3 and 160, 159. Okay, so, I don't know. I, I just think we're going to be a 90-win team at least this year, which should be playoff worthy and maybe even be the division winners and be able to host the series. Or two. Or three. Or, or, or we could win all the way the World Series. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can believe. I can believe. All right, but who I actually think is going to win it all is I don't think it's going to be anybody that we're really thinking about right now. People are like, oh, repeat, repeat for the repeat for the Red Sox. The Astros are going to be a good team this year. They got the perennial, they got the perennial Hall of Famer. No, you can't be a Hall of Fame twice, but. The perennial all-stars in Alex Bregman, Carlos Correa, if he can stay healthy, Jose Altuve, George Springer. But I don't think they're going to have a dominant pitching staff. Garrett Cole just lost yesterday in like their opening day. So, obviously he's not going to be perfect this year. Granted, he did have a very solid start. You lost Charlie Morton. Dallas Keuchel's not there, so who's going to step up for you? So I think that's going to be a very big thing. Pitching is going to be very weak this year, I think. Because you will have, like, Craig Kimbrell's a free agent. I think the Mariners sh should go get him because we don't have a starter because we freaking traded him away. Good job, Seattle. But that, that's one thing I think the Mariners need to work on. Jerry Poto, I kind of like him. I kind of don't. He makes some stupid trades. I don't care about Robinson Cano leaving. He's 35. So, I... Honestly, he's not going to do anything for us, and I'm going to let the Mets just steal away and be, be terrible for a couple years. But Edwin Diaz! Oh my gosh, that guy was so good. One of the best closers in the MLB last year. He saved almost 60 games for us. And that that's big. That That's 60 wins right there that we don't have a solid closer to have. And that's one thing the Mariners need. Do they go get Craig Kimbrell? I don't know. Do they go get Dallas Keuchel? I don't think so. Dallas Keuchel, we're more power pitching. We lose James Paxton, but other than that, Mariners are a solid team. You know most of the people that played there. You see they're pretty good. Domingo Santana, Malik Smith, very fast. We're going to be a very good team, don't get me wrong. But they just got to find the pitching and the consistency since they lost Edwin Diaz, since they lost James Paxton. For the whole thing, though, I'm going to tell you just a sec. I, I don't think it's going to be the Yankees. I don't think it's going to be Red Sox. Really, because the Yankees are overrated, I think. Aaron Judge, he hits a bunch of bombs. He's a good fielder. But he also strikes out a lot. 
and I was like, oh, the Phillies. The Phillies are overrated. Bryce Harper, oh, for everyone's going to be like, oh, my gosh, you're going to hit four home runs in a game. No, 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 no. Bryce Harper, I don't think should be a Hall of Famer. The kid's very young, don't get me wrong. I would want him to be on my team, but he is not somebody that I'm going to go pay $330 million for for 13 years. Same thing with Manny Machado. Great player. I would take him over a double-A guy. But Bryce Harper is not worth $300 million. He is worth maybe, maybe $100 million. $100 million. And congratulations, you got a big payday. But was it really worth that for the Phillies? I mean... I, you're gonna get him. He's not very consistent now. Do you think he's gonna be? He's gonna be consistent when he's 37. That, that's one thing I don't get about the Phillies. Angels, great job. You, Mike Trout, one of the greatest players to ever play the game. The, don't get me wrong. That is completely right. He's not overrated. It's a lot of money, but I think Mike Trout is worth every single cent. Of the Brewers, probably one of the fun, most fun team to watch right now. I love Travis Shaw. His comeback story. Mike Moustakis was one of my favorite. Christian Yelich, Lorenzo Cain, all those guys. I just, I really hope they do well. So my pick to win the World Series this year is going to be the Milwaukee Brewers. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in just a sec. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know I haven't posted in three months, you know. I've been on the thing called a 2K grind. 2K, great game. You should go buy it. You should, I'm on PlayStation 2. Vince K. Vinny. Oh, oh, what? Yep, so hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment down below who you think is going to win the World Series and who do you think deserves to win the World Series and some more ideas for videos because I would love to talk about stuff that you guys want to talk about. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that big red button just like NC State's about to hit that big red dingered. Sure, yep. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.